praise the Lord. Welcome to the Ark of the Covenant Church of God by Faith Sunday service, where Pastor Nolan and Pastor Sheila Williams are our pastors. Oh, magnify the Lord with us and let us exalt his name together. At this time, we're going to call our praise and worship team to open up our service. Praise the Lord. Come on, praise the Lord. Come on, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Let the songs of the Lord rise among us. The songs of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Come on, say, let the glory of the Lord. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord. Among us, let it rise. Let the glory of the Lord, let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. And we sing, oh, oh, oh.
Dios. Come on, praise the Lord. Come on, praise the Lord. Come on, just put your hands together. Anybody believe that they made it through the storm and the rain? They say, Glad I made it, so glad I made it. I made it through, I made it through, yeah. So glad I made it, so glad I made it. I made it through, I made it through. Come on, help me say, so glad I made it, so glad I made it. Anybody glad? So made it through, I made it through. Didn't have to go through the storm. I made it through. Anybody glad that you made it through the tests and the trials, through the valleys and the tribulations?
the Lord. I'm so glad I made it. I'm so glad I made it through. Praise the Lord. We thank God for allowing us to be here today. We thank God for allowing us to see another Youth Sunday. At this time, we are going to stand and open up our service with prayer. And after our prayer, we're going to call Eddie Alexander for our scripture. We're going to ask everybody to stand for our prayer. Lord, we thank you for allowing us to come to your presence one more time, God. We want to say thank you, God, for everything that you have done for us, Lord Jesus. We thank you, God, for keeping us all night long, God. We thank you for letting no hurt, harm, or danger come upon us, Lord Jesus. We thank you for allowing us to make it here today, God. We thank you, God, for allowing your presence to dwell with us one more time. God, we ask you just to bless everyone that is in the building today, Lord. We ask you just to bless them if they're not feeling well, God, if they're brokenhearted, God, if they're down in their spirit, Lord Jesus. We ask you just to lift them up right now, God. Help them to cast all their cares on you, God, for you care for us, Lord. We ask you just to bless everyone, God, that may be in the hospital, that may not be feeling well today, God. We ask you just to touch their bodies, Lord Jesus. Look on them right now in the name of Jesus, the ones that are at home, God, that are sick, God, and we ask you just to raise them up, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We ask you just to bless the bereaved ones, God, the ones that have lost, Lord. We ask you just to touch their hearts, God, in the name of Jesus. Realize that we're coming on the holiday season, God. We ask you just to bless, God, comfort, God, touch, God, be with us, God, in the name of Jesus. We ask you just to bless our service today, God. We ask you just to touch everyone that is in the building, Lord Jesus. Help them, God, to leave better than what they came into today, God. Help them, God, to cast all their burdens onto you, Lord Jesus and put it in your hands God because you're the only one that can fix it God you're the only one that can bring us through God you help us this far God and I know you're going to take us on God we ask you just to bless our pastors Lord Jesus touch them God in the name of Jesus we thank you for allowing our superintendent to be here today God and Lady Veronica God we ask you just to bless him Lord as he bring the word today God set free God deliver God most importantly save someone God we ask you just to bless everything that we do today God let it be pleasing in your sight, God. Not for show, not for fashion, God, but to praise you and to uplift your name. All these things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. At this time, we want to acknowledge our pulpit. We thank God for our pastors. We thank God for our superintendent and his wife. And we thank God for his assistant. And at this time, we are going to call Brother Eddie Alexander to read our scripture. Today I'll be reading from 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud, it does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs, does not love, does not delight in evil, does not rejoice the love. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseverance. May the Lord add a blessing to the reason of our to the reading of His word. I thank God for our youth. They're always willing. <laughs> they may not be ready, but they never say no, and we thank God for that. Um, at this time, we're going to turn it back over to our praise team, and after our praise team, we're going to turn it over to our pastor. Um, we made it this far. Let's get with the praise team and let's give all the glory and honor to God. Praise the Lord. Can y'all help me say it? 
Up your voice and say, I will, I will let on the good days, on the bad days. Sing it one more time as a as a unit. Come on, say I will. I will let you. I will, Lord. I will let you. I will. I will let you. You are. You are mine. And this is my favorite part. They say. He's my hiding place, my safe refuge, my treasure, Lord. You are my friend and king, anointed one, most holy. My hiding place, my hiding, my safe refuge, my safe refuge. My treasure, God, my treasure, Lord, you are Come on, say he's my friend and king. My friend, anointed one. Come on, say most holy. Come on, say that thing again. Come on, he's my hiding place. My hiding place. My safe refuge. My treasure, Lord, you are. Anointed one, most holy. Come on, say my hiding, my hiding. Come on, say my safe refuge, my treasure, Lord. You are my friend and king. Anointed one, most holy. Jesus, we exalt you, God. Come on, come on, come on. He's worthy. He's your hiding place. Every sparrow. Every sparrow. Come on. 
How much more does he love? Come on, bring it up. Hey, if he dresses, if he dresses a lady, with beauty and splendor, beauty and splendor, come on, how much more? How much more does he owe? Hey, if he watches, if he watches over every sparrow, every sparrow, how much more does he love me? How much more does he love me? With the beauty and splendor, beauty and splendor. How much more, yeah? How much more does he love? Hey, and if he watches, if he watches over every sparrow, every sparrow. How much more? How much more does he love? Come on, ask the question to say, how much more? 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 over you and he's watching over me if he watches over hey if he want if he watches over every spell how much more does he love you if he dresses and lives beauty and splendor how much more does he clothe you Every sparrow, how much more does he love you? It's a question. How much more does he love you? Every grace that he's poured out on you. How much more does he love you? Every time he showed you mercy. How much more does he love you? When he held you in your lonely nights. How much more does he love you? Hey, how much more, yeah? How much more does he love you? We cry unto you, Jesus. How, how much more does he love Hey, how much more, yeah? How much more? Say it again. How much more, yeah? How much more? Come on, come on, come on. We lift your name, Jesus. How much more? Yeah. How much more? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Lift him up in here. How much more? Yeah. How much more? Yeah. How much more? 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 Come on, lift those hands, come on.
Come on, put those hands together. Let's bless him. Come on, let's glorify him. Come on, let the redeemer of the Lord say something. Come on. Now, while you're clapping, tell him thank you. Come on, while you're clapping, tell him how much you love him. Come on, how much more? We bless you. We honor you. We glorify you. Come on, we worship. Come on, if it had not been for the Lord, how much more? We bless your name, Master. We bless the name of the Lord today. Truly, it's an honor to be in the house of the Lord one more time. I was glad when this said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And today we honor, come on, let's put our hands together. We honor the spirit of Christ. Amen. Come on, we honor Pastor Sheila, Deacon Ed Santos. We honor our ruling Ella, Dr. R.L. Damon and Lady Damon. Come on, put your hands together. Minister Emmanuel, we thank God for him as well. Today, amen, it's our youth, son, but today we want to introduce to some and present to others, amen, our leader, our chief apostle of this district. Our ruling Ella is with us on today, and we thank God for them being with us on today. Amen. Amen. He's going to be bringing the spoken word today to this body of Christ and you that are listening today. Amen. We believe there is a word from the Lord today. Amen. And we thank God for his, his leadership on this district and within our organization. Amen. He's a great leader. He's an awesome man of God. Amen. A man that believes in following what the Lord is telling him to do. Amen. We came up under him. We was in Buffalo, New York. We ministered amen, with them for a few years. And then the Lord called us into ministry and thank God for his leadership and his teaching. Amen. 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 And I want to tell you today, get your cup, get your fork, get your spoon. Amen. Let's get ready to be served the word of God on today. Share this with someone, letting them know that we're live right now. And our leader, our chief apostle, amen, is with us on today to break the bread of life to us on today. Amen. So we're going to have the praise and worship team and come back with one more psalm than the next speaking voice that you will be hearing. Amen. None other. Amen. Our leader. Amen. The man of God. None other than Dr. R.A.L. Damon. He's going to be speaking to us on today. So let us put our hands together. And when you see him approaching the podium, amen, let us stand and reverence the man of God because I believe there is a word from the Lord. At this time, once again, I praise and worship. Going to come back. Then the next speaking voice you will be hearing, then our leader. Right now, so let's start right now. Why 
would we wait? Why would we wait? Come on, say we can praise you now. Praise you now. Come on, say in the victory. Come on, say King of Glory. King of Glory. Come on, say I just want, I just want to be with you. Come on, I just want to be with you, Jesus. Just want to be with you. Hey, King of Glory. I just want to be with you, just want to be with you, just want to be with you. And they say, so we'll sing hallelujah till you come again. And we'll dance in your presence till you come again. Come on. We will sing hallelujah till you come again. Come on, say we'll dance in your presence. And we'll dance in your presence till you come again. Come on, say it again now. We will sing hallelujah. We will sing hallelujah till you come again. Come on, we'll dance in your presence. Till you come again, yeah, we will sing, sing hallelujah. Till you come again, come on, come on, we'll dance in your presence, and we'll dance in your presence. Till you come again, come on, one more time, we will sing hallelujah. We'll sing hallelujah. Till you come again, dance in your presence. Dance in your presence. Till you come again, yes, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah. Till you come again, and we'll dance in your presence. Dance in your presence. Till you come again. Oh, King of Glory, King of Glory, fill this place. I just want to be with you. I just want to be with you. Oh, King of Glory, King of Glory. I just wanna be with you. I just wanna be with you. Our Father, our God, we are so thankful and we're grateful now for this opportunity to be in your house. Thank you that you have brought us safely over dangerous highways and byways, streets and lanes of the city that we could assemble ourselves today. So we say thank you now for another opportunity to praise and to worship your name. We do enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. We're thankful and we do bless your name. Now, God, we come that we might hear what you will say to us through your word. Speak to us now. Bless me now to take your word and to break it into small pieces feed your people with wisdom and knowledge and understanding. In Jesus' name I pray. I decrease and I pray that you would increase. Let not this people hear my voice only, but let them hear you speaking through me. 
It is in Jesus' name that we pray and we ask all of these blessings. Somebody say, thank God and amen. Amen. While you remain standing, if you have your Bibles, I'm going to ask that you would turn with us today to the gospel according to the St. Matthew chapter number 6. That's where I like to bring our attention to St. Matthew chapter number 6, verses 30 through 34. I'm going to read today from the English Standard Version of Scripture. Again, St. Matthew chapter number 6 started at verse number 31. Therefore, do not be anxious, saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the Gentiles seek after these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things <clears throat> will be added to you. Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Amen. The word of the Lord for the people of the Lord on this wonderful Lord's afternoon. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I want to uh, use for a thought today kingdom priority amen kingdom priorities uh, we do give honor to the entire Godhead on this Lord's day the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit amen praise God uh, we do respect and honor and recognize uh, our leaders amen your man and woman of God, amen, Pastor Nolan Williams and co-pastor Sheila, amen, praise God, and to uh, all of the ministers here at the Ark of the Covenant, Church of God by Faith, amen, praise God, I want to uh, recognize my adjutant minister, Emmanuel Radford, Amen. Praise God uh, to uh, my lovely wife, Lady Veronica. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen to uh, all of the deacons. Amen. The officers. Amen. Uh, this house. Amen. And I understand that today is Youth Sunday. Can we give these young people... Great round of applause. Amen. As we see how they serve in the house of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. It's a wonderful thing to have young people. Amen. Praise God. Serving in the house of the Lord. Amen. And amen to these wonderful minstrels. Amen. Brother Bradley. Amen. Praise God in the band. We honor them. Amen. Praise God to all of the ushers. Amen. And amen. To all of you, my father's children, can you just give yourselves a round of applause? Amen. Amen. To uh, every volunteer. Amen. To volunteer your services to the house of the Lord. Amen. Our media people. Amen. 
praise the Lord. Thank you all. Amen. For what you do is good to be here. That's for me, it's good to be here. <laughs> Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm glad to be here. I feel like it's been a little while since we've been at the Ark. Amen. District visit. Amen. But I'm glad to be here and to see all of you. Amen. In the house of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. See Sister Sheila over there. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Praise God. I'm just looking around. Amen. Praise God. I thought I seen my nephew come in. Yeah. Brandon. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Y'all all right? Amen. Are you ready for the word? Amen. Thank you, Brother Brad. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I appreciate that. What I want to talk today, amen, praise God, because I believe, amen, that the subject uh, that the Lord want to speak to us concerning uh, is very, very important. Amen. Uh, and it involves all of us. Amen. Every one of us, from the oldest uh, to the youngest, amen, praise God. Uh, this particular subject is very important to God. Uh, therefore, it is important to all of us who are a part of the kingdom of God. Amen. So I want to talk to us today about kingdom priorities. Amen. There are many things that we can give our lives to that are good. You'll agree with that, that statement. Amen. There are many things that we can give our lives to that is good. But what is the greatest thing? Have you ever thought about what is the greatest thing? Amen. We only have one life to live. <laughs> Just one life to live. What should become, uh, what should come before anything else in your life? Should it be your husband? Should it be your wife? Should it be your children? Should it be your occupation? Glory to God. Should it be your career? What is it that should come before everything else in your life? I want you to think about that. What is it that should influence everything else? As a Christian, you need to understand that all you are and all you do, all you have is given to you in order for you to advance the kingdom of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Think about that. All you are and all you do, all you have has been given to you for the purpose of advancing the kingdom of God in this earth. That's powerful in and of itself. Glory to God. Listen, the kingdom is God's priority. How many know that? The kingdom is God's priority. And therefore, the kingdom must become our priority. If we are 
to overcome the confusion of religions and the threat of self-destruction. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Jesus' core vision formed the core of his teachings. It is over 80 times in the Gospels Jesus spoke of the kingdom. He came to introduce and embody. He mentioned the kingdom of God or the kingdom of heaven more than any other theme. Thank you, Lord. Throughout the Gospels, he talked about what the kingdom of God is like. Kingdom of God, hallelujah, is like pearl hidden in a field. Glory to God. And uh, the person would uh, purchase the whole field, amen, because of what was in the field. Amen. The kingdom uh, of heaven is like ten virgins, five wise and five foolish. Amen. Kingdom of God is like uh, leaving. Amen. Praise God. Which when it is put in, amen, it will leave in everything that is within that loaf. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So then, brothers and sisters, the kingdom of God calls for people of the kingdom. Listen to this. To submit to God's rule and provides understanding of what the kingdom is like. Thank you, Lord. Our priorities determine the quality of our life. Thank you, Jesus. Our priorities determine the quality of our life and dictates all of our actions and our behaviors. Glory to God. Priority is defined as the principal thing Thank you, Jesus. It is putting first things first. It is putting first things first. It is putting first things first. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It is establishing what is most important. Hallelujah. Of uh, what is the primary focus. Think about that. What is the primary focus of your life? Priority then is placing in order of importance. It's placing the highest value and worth upon a thing. Hallelujah. First among all others. Glory to God. Hallelujah. First among all others. God is simply saying to us that the kingdom of God must be first among all others. Glory to God. The kingdom of God. And I don't want us to, I, I don't, I don't want us to miss this. When we talk about the kingdom of God, amen. You cannot disconnect the church from the kingdom of God. So when I talk about the kingdom of God being priority in our lives, I'm really seeing, amen, that the church of God must be top priority in your life, in our life. Oh, I see y'all going to make this a little hard today, but that's all right. I think I'm up for the task. Because the fact of the matter is, too many times in the church of God, thus the kingdom of God, amen, we have things out of order. 
Amen. Praise God. And we put all other things before the house of God or before the kingdom of God. Uh, and when we do that, God is not satisfied because we have our priorities misplaced. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We have our priorities misplaced. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. It was... Uh, the late Dr. Miles Monroe, who states this, the greatest tragedy in life is not death. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Glory to God. But the greatest tragedy in life is life without a purpose. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Life without a purpose. He goes on to say, amen, the greatest tragedy in life is life with the wrong priorities. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. The greatest mistake in life, listen to this, is to be busy but not effective. Glory to God. You see people just, just busy, just, just busy, just, just doing things, amen, continuously doing things, amen, praise God, but not being effective. I don't know about you, but I've come to the place in life, amen, that I don't have time to waste just being busy. Amen. But at this point, at this stage of my life, amen, I must be effective. Glory to God. Look at somebody and ask them, are you effective? Okay, all right. Amen. Dr. Monroe says life's greatest failure is to be successful in the wrong assignment. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Successful in the wrong assignment. Thank you, Lord. Successful in the wrong assignment. It's a failure to be successful in the wrong assignment. Thank you, Lord. You got to know what your assignment is. Do I have a witness in here today? You must know what your assignment is. Hallelujah. Success in life is measured by the effective use of one's time. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Somebody say kingdom priorities. When our priorities are correct, we preserve and protect our life. Thank you, Jesus. Correct priority protects our time. So a few of us in here today don't have time to waste no more. <laughs> Glory to God. Ain't got time to waste no more. Hallelujah. When we set the right priorities, then we use our time for intentional purposes. Hallelujah. Our time is not abused or wasted. Correct priorities protect our energy. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Correct priorities Protect our talents and our gifts. Thank you, Jesus. Correct priorities protects our talents and our gifts. Thank you, Lord. Look at all these gifted people in here today. Look at all these talented people in here today. Amen. Praise God. When your priorities are correct, hallelujah, it protects your talents and your gifts. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Correct priority protects your decisions. Some of us in here today have made some bad decisions because our priorities was wrong. Can we talk today? Amen. Praise God. We made wrong decisions. I too have made some bad decisions. Amen. Praise God. But now, amen, I cannot afford to make bad decisions anymore. Amen. Praise God. And there's a few of you that will agree with me. You cannot afford to make bad decisions anymore. Just wave at me if I'm talking to you. 
Amen. Praise God. I might not be talking to everybody, but then and again, I'm talking to everybody. Amen. Right priorities, hallelujah, protects our decisions. Hallelujah. Not only that, but correct priorities protects our discipline. Hallelujah. And maybe more than all of that, amen, right, uh, right priority simplifies our life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Can you give God a praise in here? So then Jesus in his teaching uh, today, amen, praise God, he says to his disciples, therefore, do not be anxious. Do not be anxious. Amen. Praise God. Is that even possible? Yes, it's possible. Amen. Because the Lord say, do not be anxious. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Do not be anxious. See, you can make yourself sick being anxious. Uh, you know, sometimes anxiety cripple people. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. People develop ulcers, glory to God, because of anxiety or being anxious. Can you give him praise in here? But Jesus just says to them, do not be anxious. Why is that? Why is that, Jesus? Jesus is telling us to not be anxious because he's got us. Amen. Praise God. He got you people of God. The Lord got you. Whatever it is that you are facing, whatever it is that you have to go through, the Lord's got it. The Lord's got it. Come on now. Amen. Praise God. Glory to God. I hear the Lord say if we are not going to be anxious, then we must put our trust in the Lord. Our faith must be in the Lord. Not ourselves. Kind of feeling something here. <laughs> Glory to God. I'm feeling like I need to deal with this. Amen. Praise God. Uh, not putting our trust in other people. Glory to God. Not putting our trust in the government. Hallelujah. Not putting our trust in society, but putting our trust in the Lord. Putting our trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. Because the fact of the matter is our understanding can get us in trouble. Or maybe I ought to say our lack of understanding can get us in trouble. But trust in the Lord and don't lean to your own understanding. If we are not going to be anxious about it, then we got to trust God. Hallelujah. Trust God. Hallelujah. In other words, amen, uh, uh, he even go a little bit deeper. He say, don't even worry about what you're going to eat. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Some of you in here know that God made a way and he's still making a way. Ain't God making a way? Won't he make a way? Amen. So you don't even have to worry about it. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't worry about what you're going to eat. He said, don't be anxious about what you're going to drink. Or even what you're going to wear. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't even worry about the clothes that you don't have. Because God's going to make a way for you. If your trust is in the Lord, God is going to make a way for you. He is a way maker. You know that. We sing that, but I don't know whether we believe it. He is a way maker. Somebody say he's a way maker. Praise the Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. He is a way maker. Amen. Praise God. I remember in my own life, if I can be transparent right now, I remember in my own life when I was worried about things. Praise God. And worry was making me sick. Yeah. Hallelujah. Worry was draining my energy. Yeah. Glory to God. I had not arrived to the point that I am right now. I was worried about things and I was not trusting God. 
Hallelujah. But when I began to put my trust in the Lord, the very thing that I was worrying about, he brought me out of that. I want to talk to somebody and tell you God's going to bring you out of that. Hallelujah. God's going to bring you out of that. I don't know who I'm talking to in here today, but let me just let you know. Let me give you some good news. God is going to bring you out of it. God's going to bring you out. God's going to bring you out. Just keep believing him. Keep trusting him because God is going to bring you out. He's a way maker. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Lord says to them, verse number 32, he says, For the Gentiles seek after all these things. Amen. What are the Gentiles seeking after? They're seeking after what they're going to eat, what they're going to drink, and what they're going to wear. But Jesus says, Your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. God already knows. God already know. If you are a child of God, just wave at me right now. Amen. Praise God. I hope the whole church will be waving back at me. If you are a child of God, wave at me right now. Amen. Praise God. So for every child of God who is waving back at me, God already know what you need. And God is going to give you with everything that you need. Hallelujah. My God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory. My God, my God, my God shall supply all of your need according to his riches in glory. Hallelujah. And when I think about the riches that my father have, amen, praise God, he ain't lacking on nothing. Amen. Praise God. He ain't liking nothing. And if God has no shortage of anything, it's his good will to give us the whole kingdom. It's your father's good pleasure to give you the whole kingdom. God want to give it to you. Y'all ain't hearing me today. God want to give you the kingdom. Come on, somebody and give him praise in here. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So look at the text. Look at the text. Jesus states God's number one priority. Hallelujah. Are you ready for it? Hallelujah. God's number one priority is this. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well. See, the problem that we have many times in the body of Christ is we are seeking the things rather than the kingdom. We are going after stuff rather than going after the kingdom. Hallelujah. But seek First, his kingdom and his righteousness. And all these things will be given to you as well. What are the things? You know what we long for? Food, clothing, shelter, protection, security, provision, occupation. Significance. All these things will be given to us if we seek his kingdom first. Somebody say first. Hallelujah. If we seek his kingdom first, all the things will be given. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 This is the most important thing. It's the most important statement made by Jesus. It establishes what should be first priority in our lives. Hallelujah. In essence, Jesus identifies the kingdom as being more important than food. More important than water. More important than the clothes that we wear. 
more important than the jobs that we work on. Glory to God. More important than our careers. Hallelujah. Glory to God. More important than the houses that we live in. Thank you, Lord. And every other basic human need. God's number one priority for us is that we discover and that we understand and that we enter the kingdom of heaven. Somebody give him praise in here. <laughs> Glory to God. So our first instruction is to seek the kingdom. Somebody say that with me, seek the kingdom. It simply means to pursue the kingdom. It means to pursue the kingdom. It means to study about the kingdom. It means to explore the kingdom. To understand it, to learn about it, and to consider it. Listen to this. To seek means to give diligent dedication to and to preoccupy oneself with what he or she is seeking. Glory to God. The kingdom must be pursued. Look at somebody and tell them, go after the kingdom. Yeah, the kingdom must be studied. It must be understood. And it must be learned. Can you give God praise in here? Glory to the name of the Lord. Second thing Jesus says is, uh, he says to make the kingdom first. In other words, the kingdom must be our top priority. Must be the principal thing that is placed above all others as most important. Talk to me somebody. Hallelujah. The kingdom must be placed above everything else. And it should have no competition. Glory to God. Can you give him praise in here? The kingdom of God must be our highest priority. I wish you'd give him praise in here. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of the Lord. This word uh, kingdom that we talk about so much, uh, in the Greek it means basileia, which means dominion. It means sovereignty. It means rule. It means reign, a sovereign rule, a royal power. So then, brothers and sisters, the kingdom may be defined as the sovereign rule of a king over a territory. Hallelujah. I'll say that again. The sovereign rule of the king over a territory. And can I tell you that territory must begin with you and I first. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God want to rule in our lives first. Hallelujah. God wants to rule in your life first. So before he can rule in the church, before he can rule in the kingdom, he must rule in your hearts first. Hallelujah. Is God ruling in your life? Praise the Lord. Is God ruling in your life? Hallelujah. Glory to God. We pray it. We pray it. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Where? On earth. Hallelujah. Amen. Earth. Amen. In this earth. Hallelujah. In this lump of clay. Hallelujah. The rule of God must be exhibited in me first. Hallelujah. People ought to see me, hallelujah, being an example of the kingdom of God. When they see you and I coming, they ought to see the kingdom come. I don't know whether you're all getting this today, amen, but if you are a believer, amen, when people see you come, they ought to see the kingdom coming. 
So it was the Pharisees that came to Jesus and they say, tell us plainly, when is the kingdom coming? Jesus says to them, co Pastor Sheila, amen, praise God. You're not going to be able to look here, hallelujah, or to say there. You're not going to be able to point here or there and say that that's the kingdom. Hallelujah. But the kingdom is in you. I want somebody to know that the kingdom is in you. Hallelujah. When people see you coming, they ought to see a manifestation of the kingdom. Come on and give him praise in here. Hallelujah. In other words, in other words, hallelujah, everything that is happening, amen, in the kingdom of heaven, amen, praise God, ought to be happening in you. Come on in here, somebody. Amen. Whatever is going on in the heavenly realm, amen, praise God, ought to be manifested in the earth realm through you. Can I get a witness in here? Praise God. When you understand what's going on in heaven, amen, you ought to be duplicating that in the earth. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. What's going on in heaven? Praise is going on in heaven. <laughs> Glory. Amen. Praise is going on in heaven. So therefore, praise ought to be going on in the earth realm through you. I don't know why it is we come up into the house of the Lord and we want to sit down and be entertained. Amen. But the church of God is not a place to be entertained. Did you come to be entertained? Praise God. Come on, talk to me. Did you come to be entertained? Praise God. I hope you didn't come to be entertained, but I hope you come to display in earth what is going on in heaven. Praise God. Praise is going on up there. Giving God glory is going on up there. Do I have a witness in here today? Hallelujah. The, the angels are crying, holy, 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 holy is the Lord God Almighty. Praise is going on in heaven. Hallelujah. Therefore, praise ought to be going on in the earth. Our job, our job, our job is to duplicate on earth what is going on in heaven. Are you hearing me in here today? Can you give God praise in here? Everything in heaven is holy. We ought to be living holy. We ought to be walking holy. We ought to be talking holy. Because that's what's going on in heaven. Therefore, we must duplicate it on the earth. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Somebody give God praise in here today. Come on, shout glory. Hallelujah. So the sovereign rule of God is happening in my territory. I say the sovereign rule of God is happening in my territory. In me, hallelujah, the sovereign rule of God is being manifest in me. Hallelujah, glory to God. So when you see me coming, hallelujah, you see the kingdom of God, hallelujah, in physical manifestation. That's the way it ought to be, hallelujah. That's the only way we're going to be able to advance God's kingdom in the earth realm. Come on and give him praise now. Hallelujah. And when that happened, hallelujah, we will impact this earth with God's will and with God's purpose and with God's intent, producing a culture of worshipers. Hallelujah. Producing a culture of worshipers. I think I need to stay there for a minute. Producing a culture of worshipers. Hallelujah. Producing a culture of worshipers. And when all of us worshipers get together up in the house of God. Hallelujah. It ought to be glory on earth. Hallelujah. When all of us believers, when we as a culture of believers come together. Hallelujah. In the house of God or wherever we are. Hallelujah. We produce a culture of worshipers. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Where the presence of God is, where the glory of God is happening, 
where the presence of God is happening. And people will want to be around us and people will want to be with us because of the presence of God in us. Come on and give him praise in here. Hallelujah. Look at somebody and say, let's get together now. Let's get together now. Let's create an environment. Let's create a culture of worshipers. Hallelujah. Culture of worshipers. Come on and give him praise in here. Let's create a culture of worshipers. People who are praying. Hallelujah. People who are breaking yoke and destroying shackles. Hallelujah. Glory to God. People who are breaking yoke and destroying shackles. Hallelujah. And when those who come into our presence are bound and shackled, because of the glory, because of the presence of God, every yoke will be broken. Every shackle will be destroyed. Do I have a witness in here? Why? Because the presence of heaven is now in the earth realm. Hallelujah. And God through us will break yokes and destroy shackles. I wish you would give him a praise in here today. Come on somebody, shout glory. Are there any believers in here today? Are there any worshipers in here that know when we come together in a holy environment and in a holy culture, hallelujah, shackles will be broken. Yokes will be destroyed. Demons will have to flee. Come on in here, somebody. Demons will have to get out of our presence because of a culture of worship because of a culture of believers who are now displaying the glory of heaven in the earth realm. Can you give God praise in here? Somebody shout glory. That's what we need in the house of the Lord. That's what we need among us. Hallelujah. See, because the world is saying that the church is no longer relevant. I say the world is saying that the church is no longer relevant. But today I stand behind this sacred desk and I call the devil a liar. I call the enemy a liar. The church is still relevant. The true church of God is still relevant. Yes, it is. The church of the living God is the hope of the world. The church of the living God is the hope of the world. And what a sad place for the world to be in where they don't even know where their hope is. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But those of us who are in the body of Christ know that the world, or the church rather, is the hope of the world. The world need the church and sooner or later they're going to recognize that the hope of the world is the church of the living God. The pillar and ground of truth. The pillar and ground of truth. The same church that Jesus said upon this rock I'll build my church and the gates of Hades, the gates of hell, shall not prevail. I know sometimes it feels like the gates of hell is prevailing against the church of God. Hallelujah. But the truth be told, the gates of hell shall never, never, never prevail against the church of God. Can you give him praise in here? Somebody shout glory. Shout it again, glory. The church is the hope of the world. The church is the hope of the world. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad to be a part of the church? Aren't you glad to be a part of the church? about these walls and these beautiful stained glass windows I'm not talking about these lights 
but I'm talking about you as a living stone. You and I as lively stones. Hallelujah. Who has been put into God's building. Therefore, now we are God's building. We are God's habitation. Hallelujah. Habitation for the Spirit of God. Can you give God praise in here? Hallelujah. If it so be that the Spirit of God dwells in you and that the Spirit of God dwells in me, we are the church. I am the church. You are the church. You are the church. And the very gates of hell shall not overcome you. The gates of hell shall not overtake you. Come on and give him praise. You see, it's good news to know that whatever you're going through right now, whatever you are facing right now, you still have the victory. Whatever you're going through right now, you still have the victory. Hallelujah. And the old church will say something like this, victory is mine. Victory is mine. And they would go on to say, I told Satan, get thee behind. Because victory is mine. Sometimes when you're going through your problem, you got to know how to talk to the enemy and tell him, get thee behind me. Not in my name, but in the name of Jesus. Get thee behind me. You got to know how to talk. Don't just sit there and let the enemy beat you up. Whatever you're going through, get up and tell the devil where to get out. Tell him to get behind you. Tell him to get out of your house. I perceive that somebody's going through trouble in your home. You got to know how to tell the devil, get thee behind me. Get out of my house. Stop messing with my family. Get your hands off my children. Get your hands off my husband. Get your hands off my wife. Get thee behind me, Satan. You got to rise up and tell the devil, loose your hope. Loose your hope. Hallelujah, you got to tell the devil, come on out of here, devil. Come on out of here. Just sit there and don't say nothing when you're going through an attack from the enemy. Do you not know that life and death is in the power of your tongue? Did you hear what I just said? Life and death is in the power of your tongue. You got what you need for victory in your mouth. Use what you got. Use what you got. Use your weapon. Come on, somebody. Use your weapon. Use your weapon. You got to know how to pray. You got to know how to talk to the Lord. When you're going through your problem, I don't know who I'm talking to, but I know I'm talking to somebody. You got to know how to pray. You got to know how to talk. You got to know how to moan. You got to know how to grow. Glory to God. I used to hear the old church say, the devil don't know what you're saying. When you moan. Hallelujah. Sometimes you just need to moan in the spirit. Sometimes you have to groan in the spirit. Can you give God praise in here? Because the Lord know what you're talking about. When you moan and when you're groaning. 
shout yeah know how to talk know how to say something when you up under attack when you up under attack you ought to holler out a pray glory when you being hit with all kinds of attacks all kinds of blows from the devil you got to say something look at somebody down your row and tell them say something come on tell somebody else say something don't sit there with your mouth closed reach way down and get you a pray reach way down and get you a praise because when you start to praise God, something happens when you praise. Something happens when you praise. Something happens when you praise. Yes, it does. Something happens when you praise. Shout yeah. Something happens when you praise. Something happens when you praise. But a believer, you got to know how to fight. You got to know how to war. You can fight with your praise. You can fight with your hands. You got to know how to clap. You got to know how to stomp your feet and give God praise. Shout yes. Go on and try it. Go on and try it. Go on and try it. Praise him. Glory. Because I hear the Holy Ghost say, He inhabits the praises of his people. Did you get that? He inhabits the praises of his people. That simply means that he takes habitation. Wherever he's being praised, yes he does. He'll come right there wherever he's being praised. And if God ever shows up in your dilemma, it's going to be all right. Look at somebody and tell them it's going to be all right. I feel like preaching in here today. It's going to be all right. Because I know if I praise him, he will step right in to my praise. Yes, he will. And if we praise God collectively, God will. Yes, he will. God will step right in to our praise. Shout it out. Yes, he will. And when God steps in, to our praise, every demon have to flee. Every sickness have to go. Every depression, every depression, the Holy Ghost say every depression, every depressed person, if you start praising God, depression, will have to live up off of you. Can you praise him now? Who is it that's depressed? Who is it that is down in your spirit? I got the solution. I got the answer to your problem. And it is praise. Say, let the weak say a strong, yeah, let the poor say I'm rich because of what the Lord has done. Hallelujah. Let the weak say I'm strong 
Everybody that's feeling weak right now, proclaim that you're strong. Declare that you are strong because when you say it, it releases God to answer your prayer. It releases God to get right in there. Shout yeah. So if you weak, pat yourself on the chest and say I'm strong. If you poor, let the poor say I am rich because of what the Lord has done. See Yeah. I feel like preaching in here. Can you give God? I don't care. I'm up for the task. If I got to preach you up from a low point, I'll preach. I'll preach you up from your low place. I declare that the Lord, that the Lord, the Lord, Strong and mighty. Hallelujah. Can you give God praise in here? I want to tell you about the King of Glory. Who is the King of Glory? He is the Lord God. Strong and mighty. Yeah. Yes, he is. He is the King of Glory. He is the Lord. The Lord. He's the Lord. My bishop used to say, He's a battle in the time of the battle. Yeah. He is shelter in the time of the storm. I don't care. What storm you in right now? He shelter in the time of the storm. Shelter. Oh yeah, yeah, yes, Lord, yeah, yes, Lord. That's what I'm talking about. You got to call him. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Woo. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. I wonder do I have any praises in here today? the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Oh yeah. This poor man cried and the Lord heard. Aren't you glad that the Lord heard? He heard your cry. The old church will say cry to the Lord and he heard my cry. I cried. And he heard my cry. They say I kept on crying. And he heard my cry. Yeah. Kept on crying. Kept on crying. Kept on crying. I kept on crying, I kept on crying, and he heard my cry, kept on crying, the Lord heard, he didn't leave me by myself, he didn't leave me all alone, but he heard my cry, he heard 
my cry is there anybody in here today know that he heard your cry you ought to lift up your hand and give him praise because he heard you cry yes he did he heard Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He heard my cry. I'm so glad that he heard my cry. He heard my cry. I'm so glad that he heard when I cried. Yeah. Was yeah, yeah. All I could say, Pastor Nola, was yes, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. I see you running through. Let me tell you what I see. I see you running through a troop and leaping over a wall. Glory to God. I'll say it again. I see you running through a troop and leaping over a wall. And the next time your enemies see you, they gonna see a victorious woman. They gonna see a victorious man because of the power of the Holy Ghost. Come on and give him praise. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah, come on. Standing on our feet. The Holy Ghost said that some of you, you've been going through, and you, you know, you know that this is not you. You know the place that you are right now is not you. You probably wonder how in the world did I get here? What happened? What happened? One moment you were doing good, you were doing well. And all of a sudden, you found yourself at the lowest place you ever been in your life. Can can I tell you that there's good news? Can I tell you there's good news? Son, there's good news. What is the good news? The good news is he'll reach way down. He'll reach way down. All the way down in the gutter. And he'll pull you up. up and put your feet on a rock. That's why David said this poor man cried and the Lord heard <laughs> and delivered delivered me out of all my troubles. So maybe there's somebody today you find yourself there. Your priorities got all messed up and all mixed up. Amen. One time your priorities was right. Amen. And the devil came in and he tricked you. He fooled you. Got your priorities messed up. And you found yourself spiraling. 
I don't know who I'm talking to in here today, but you found yourself spiraling out of control. Glory to God. Spiraling out of control. What happened? What, what happened is spiraling out of control. And you're thinking within yourself, this is not me. This is not me. But you're still spiraling out of control. Glory to the name of the Lord. Just spiraling. Sinking. Sinking every round. Hallelujah. Every round. Hallelujah. You went. Was taking you lower and lower and lower. What happened? Got my priorities messed up. But now God is saying. I want to reverse that. Turn that around. And God is saying, I want you to soar. I want you to soar like an eagle. Who is it I'm talking to in here today? Who is it I'm talking? Come on, come. Would you meet me? Would you meet me at this altar? Right, my mama, shy. Oh God. Oh God. Glory to God. Let your glory fill this world. Will your heart and soul say Come on. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Come on, that's still time to come. That's still time to come. You're getting ready to experience the first day of the best day of your life. You're getting ready to experience the first day of the best day of your life. Somebody say new beginning, new beginning. It's about to be a new beginning. Come on, they're still coming. Come on, we got time, we got time, come on.